How do you know a guy really loves you and he's not just saying it? Well, I think one of the best ways to test a guy's intentions of whether he truly loves you is chastity. Because one of the functions of chastity is to bring the other person's intentions up to the surface. Perfect example, a, a woman I know was at a Louisiana State University dating a guy. I think I had mentioned this on a previous podcast episode, but she comes home from this date, first date, crying. And the mom said, well, what happened? And she said, you know, I wanted a date with that guy. And as soon as we got in the car, he started to make little perverted jokes of what he wanted to do with me. And I told him, no, I, I practice chastity. And he said, oh, that's okay. There's lots of other stuff we can do, meaning everything but intercourse. And she said, no, I'm not sure you understand that. You know, I respect my future husband. I respect God. And he looked at her and he said, so you mean I'm not going to get anything tonight? She said, no, you're not. He said, okay. He turned the car around, drove her home, dumped her off, and he left. And she's never seen him again. And thank God, because she could have given that to him for six months. Like, does he love me? Is he in it for the right reasons? Like she didn't play that game. Date number one, these are my morals. If you don't respect them, then go home, which is exactly what he did. And now if you say to a guy, well, you know, I just want to let you know early on that, you know, I'm saving sex for marriage. And the next man that I'm with in that way will be my husband on our wedding night. If you say that you will get one of three reactions, okay? Reaction number one, he's uh, he's gonna be like, oh, what, like you won't sleep with me? Like, what do you like some other guy? Are you some prude? Do you not like sex? Like what's wrong? Like he'll try anything, whether it's guilt, anger, manipulation, mockery, whatever it is to try to wear you down. If that's his reaction, obviously this is Mr. Wrong. Second reaction, which I think is often the most common one, is he acts like okay with it? Might be a little out of left field, but he, he's like, okay, well, you know, if that if that's what you want to do, like, I, I respect that. And she thinks, okay, you know, but the problem is, what do you mean by that? Like, does he share your morality or is he just kind of like putting up with and tolerating your morality? Because look, you can actually train a dog to balance a treat on his nose, right? But as soon as you give him the signal, boom, that thing's in the dog's mouth. A lot of guys will be like, well, if that's what you want to do, I respect it. But here's the problem. Then the girl has to be the chastity cop, right? That basically whenever the, he's tempted, she's got to like, okay, you're going too far. But then what happens when she's tempted? He's going to go as far as she's willing to go. He will take everything that she's willing to give. You want a guy who's not just willing to wait for you. He's actually willing to wait with you so that when you're tempted, he could be strong. Just that when he's tempted, you could be strong. You want a guy who's not just going to like respect your decision. You want a guy who shares your decision as well, who's already walking the walk and living it out. And so ultimately, talk is cheap. But I think if you really want to know if a guy loves you, I mean, does he bring out the best in you? I remember one mom saying to me once, you know, how can I tell my daughter if it's real love in one sentence? I'm like, okay, here you go, one sentence. The closer she gets to him, the more she becomes herself. It's real love. Really pay attention to your feelings when you're around this person. Like, not just the Twitter pated infatuation, oh, he's cute and all that stuff. Like, no, no, no. Like, does he make you a better person? Does he lead you closer to God? When the dates are over, do you feel cherished and guarded? Or do you respill, do you feel kind of, you know, I don't know, used or worn down or, or regretful? Really listen to your heart. I mean, a woman has been gifted by God with like just this feminine intuition, as John Paul II would call it, the feminine genius. You got to learn to listen to that. The world tells you to shut it up. Like, oh, no, no, no. Listen to that. And if there's restlessness there, and there's a lack of peace there. Because I think the fingerprint of God on a relationship is purity and peace. And if the relationship does not have peace, does not have purity, I don't think his hand is behind this thing. And so have the courage to let go. And I know letting go can be super hard. But I'm telling you, the only thing harder than letting go of the wrong relationship is holding on to it for way too long because then you clog up your love life with the love that, you know, blocking out the love that you truly deserve. And so if you feel like you're stuck in that kind of situation, man, don't try to let go alone. Find a breakup buddy, someone that you can turn to, whether family member, a close friend, that can help reassure you when you start to doubt yourself. And if you wanted, you could even take a log of this relationship. And when things are going great, bad, I mean, write all this stuff down. Because a lot of times we can kind of airbrush our memory. Oh no, I know that happened, but I mean, all these good things happen too. But then when you kind of, I don't know, you put it down in your handwriting, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to argue with your own handwriting. It's like, yeah, we got a pattern here, a pattern of instability, a pattern of jealousy, a pattern of bickering or disrespect or whatever it may be. And so if a guy truly loves you, 
I think you're going to be at peace. You're going to be brought closer to God. And in the end, you're going to be more fully who God created you to be. And to help you to know if this is the real guy, we actually created a free ebook for women called 10 Guys That You Are Better Off Without. And if you want to get the ebook, it's really easy. Just go to our website, chastity.com slash the number 10, one zero, then guys. So chastity.com slash 10 guys. You can download the book for free right there. It's also going to have a link in the show notes where you can get the, uh, the ebook there as well. But that one is going to be the list of the top 10 guys to avoid. And a lot of times, if you can just weed out the guys who aren't worthy of you, you're a lot more likely to find the guys who are worthy of you.